Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. In the next uh, few episodes, I'm going to be going over the preference panel inside of Premiere Pro, uh, which is found by going up to on a Mac. You go up to the Premiere Pro name here at the top. You click on it and go under settings. They call it settings on a Mac. On a PC, it's called preferences, and it's in a different location. But you'll move over and click on any one of these names here, and it will open up the preference panel and select the item that you selected when you chose that there. So, and you can just go through any of these preferences in here that, that you want to, but all those are found under that drop down menu as well. Uh, so, under PC, it's actually under edit, and under edit, you'll go down to the bottom. You will see a preference option at the bottom. You click on that, and then that will expand the menu much like it does up here. And then you can choose which one you want to start on, but that's found under edit and preferences. Then click on the item that you want to open. So, in this episode, we are going to be going through the audio options under the preferences here. Uh, I'm not going to be going through every single one of these preferences, just the ones that I kind of use the most as an editor here. It would take a long, long time to go through each one of these, uh, but I am going to be going over uh, the audio panel here. And two very helpful options that I find in here are going to be the play audio while scrubbing and maintain pitch while scrubbing. Uh, then these are just like preference things here. There is a difference between scrubbing and shuttling. Scrubbing is where you grab your playhead with your mouse and you drag it back and forth like that. And you can hear right now it is actually playing back the audio while it is scrubbing. Shuttling is where you hit your J, K, L keys. J is rewind, K is stop, and L is forward. And if you hit J, hey, thank you. that is rewinding right there, and you can hear the audio playing. K, I hit to stop, and L, I'm going to do to fast forward. Let's move back here. And L is to, is to forward. I'm very sexual. So now, when you hit L, and then you hit L again, and again, and again, It'll get faster and faster each time. It'll go from 100% speed to 150% speed to 200% speed and so on. So watch this as I hit L here. L. We'll be finished your system. 100% speed. L again. 150% speed. Then if I hit it three times, it goes faster and faster until you hear the audio speeding up and it starts to move through your timeline quicker. J is the same thing as L, but in reverse, you hit J, 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 J and it will go faster and faster. So J, 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 and so on. It gets faster and faster as it moves through the timeline there. Now that is called shuttling. When you're doing it with your keys, when you're doing it with your mouse, it's called scrubbing. So let's go up to the preference here. We're gonna go under audio, and we're going to uncheck audio while scrubbing. This will turn your audio off while you're scrubbing, but it will not turn it off while you're shuttling. That's just always on. So we're gonna uncheck that, hit okay, and now as I grab my playhead, and some people prefer that where they're looking at pictures, they don't want to hear the audio kind of jumbling in the background, uh, so it's not distracting. But then if you want to hear the audio, you can just hit L, 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 A, J, J, whatever you want. <laughs> and you still hear that playing back, but it turns the audio off while scrubbing there is one of the options. So we're going to go back under the settings here. So I'm going to, I'm going to check mark that so it plays while scrubbing. Check maintain pitch while shuttling. I prefer to have this off. Uh, I, I used to work on uh, tape to tape record decks where you would fast forward through the tape and you would hear the audio pitch uh, get higher as it would speed up. Naturally, that, that's, what it would, that's what it does. It's called the chipmunk effect. You might have heard that where you have your really high pitch while you're moving through the timeline at an accelerated pace here. But we're going to maintain that pitch while shuttling. And now listen to this. When I, hit rec when I do fast forward while shuttling, which I'm going to hit LLL, their voices sound the same pitch, but it's kind of like chopping through it like it's fast forwarding through their audio there. Uh, so if we have that turned off, you get that chipmunk effect while you're shuttling. And this doesn't work while you're scrubbing, by the way. So I gra gra grab the scrub and the audio is playing while, it's, while you're scrubbing. It always maintains the pitch. But now with shuttling, you hit L, L, L. And now we're getting that chipmunk effect where it's sped up and the pitch is higher and it sounds like you're speeding through the tape. I like that. For, that's just maybe, maybe an old nostalgic preference, but I, I like that. Some people, I can imagine that would drive them nuts. So... Last thing with the audio preferences here is the audio hardware. If we go into our audio hardware, if you're just working off a laptop, it's just gonna use the laptop's hardware to input your audio and to output your audio. Right now, I have these all entry Bluetooth speakers that it's playing out to, so I'm choosing that as, as my system default from a Mac is choosing that hardware. So by default, Premiere chooses the default audio out for, for your system, which is kind of smart. But if you don't want it to play through that, if you have an interface device that's plugged into the computer, and you just want to hear your editing through that device and maybe hear anything else else through your, your regular computer speakers or whatever else you're using, you can change those options in here. The input is if you have a microphone, right now it's reading my MacBook Pro microphone. If I have hardware, I'll just show you some hardware interfaces here. Focusrite Scarlett is a very commonly used one. Focus, Focusrite is a company that is very that has a very common interface. It has several different interface devices that, uh, that can be plugged into your computer via USB. 
And then once you start plugging things like microphones, like you have an XLR microphone into this, you can use that microphone and the uh, computer will recognize that as attached hardware. And Premiere will actually find that under the input and the output of your under the input if it's a microphone device and if it's a dual device where it has an input and it also has output to speakers where you can plug speakers that are amplified through the device you can basically tell it to play through those speakers which is, will be going through the focus right device so if i had that focus right device plugged in via usb and then i had the drivers installed when i open up premiere the hardware will be under here and recognize and i and i can use the speakers through the focus right system rather through rather through my computer speakers or headphones. And Premiere does, for the input, Premiere does record. If you have a microphone plugged in, you can record direct narration directly onto a timeline. Uh, if you have a sequence of photos that you have playing or a video that you have playing, you can actually you can actually hit record and it'll start recording your voice and it'll create a voice uh, record track. I'll do that on a future episode and show how to do that, but you can record live onto your timeline if you have an interface device working with your computer. Well, that's it with the audio preferences. In the next episode, I'm going to be going over the auto-save preferences inside of Premiere Pro.